in this video I'm going to talk you through the applications on my MacBook Pro so I'm basically going to show you what I use my MacBook for. I use this app called Unity and Unity is basically a games development app it allows you to create games basically guys a Raspberry Pi is like a mini computer which you can do stuff on um, and stuff like that Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to talk you through the applications on my MacBook Pro. So I'm basically going to show you what I use my MacBook for. But let me just say something. My MacBook is the best thing I've ever invested in. Like it is amazing. I love her so much. Honestly, like if anyone's looking to get a new laptop, get the MacBook Pro 2019. Um, if you can get the one terabyte, um, because my memory is going up really quickly, but I love her. She's fast, she's powerful, she's sleek, she's easy to use. She's, oh, she's just everything you need in a laptop and more, okay? Um, but yeah, guys, aside from that, in this video, I'm going to talk you through what I use my MacBook for because, you know, what do I use my MacBook for, especially as I'm working as a technology scientist in London? So how is my MacBook useful in my day-to-day -day life? So if you want to know, then stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I have is this JPEG image, which is, I don't know why it's there. Um, Vuforia package. So I use this app called Unity and Unity is basically a games development app. It allows you to create games websites and games environments and stuff like that so Vuforia is just a package that you can install and add to Unity to help you when developing games and also augmented reality scenes. I had Adobe Creative Cloud because I signed up to the um, 30 day free trial or two week free trial and then after that I quit because I'm not paying £17 a month for that. So then these are obviously the other packages that come with Adobe app store automator i'm not sure what that's for don't use books calculator obvious obvious um camera recorder i don't know i think i was trying to find a camera app for my macbook um chess never played that and then everything else is boring 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 um the next most exciting thing on here is high suite so high suite is used to allow me to connect my um android phone to my laptop i have two phones i have the iphone and i have a um android phone so i had the huawei p20 pro um, and i use that to connect to my huawei the next thing we have is Honey. I don't know if you guys know Honey. They're basically like you install it on your web browser and it looks for deals automatically for you. The next thing I have is iMovie. That's to edit videos. It's the cheap version of Final Cut Pro. I want to get Final Cut Pro, but it's like 300 pounds. IP Scanner. Um, so IP Scanner allows you to see any devices that are around you and to look at their IPs. I mostly used IP scanner because what I would do was, this was when I did my tech course, I would use the IP scanner to find out the IP address of my Raspberry Pi and then connect my computer to a Raspberry Pi. Basically guys, a Raspberry Pi is like a mini computer which you can do stuff on um, and stuff like that. And then Kino, I've never used before. Mail, obviously, let's skip the obvious. Microsoft Edge, I had to install a new web browser um, because Google Chrome and Safari weren't working. Another app of interest, which I think comes up, is PyCharm. I haven't really used PyCharm. Um, I don't, I haven't used PyCharm. I haven't used PyCharm, actually. I don't know why I've got PyCharm. And then OneDrive to sync my information onto the cloud. Um, following on from that, I have Slack, um, which is a communications platform, which is really good. Um, Spotify, obviously. Obviously, I have Spotify. Um, QuickTime Player to watch movies and videos when I import them onto my laptop. Um, the next thing I have is... Um, Team Viewer. So Team Viewer is like more of a professional Zoom. So Team Viewer allows you to sort of give people remote control access. So the last time I used it was when I was showing my screen um, and I needed like some debugging or to do something on my screen. I shared it with someone 
and then they had access to my computer and were able to sort of guide me through what to do so it's more of a professional way of um, allowing um, an external user to control your laptop the next app i have is called termius and termius is basically like a command line prompt um yeah so it's another command line prompt um, but i just used command line prompt on my macbook and for those non-technical experts command line prompt is another way of sort of um accessing your computer and installing um like things on your laptop so you go on app store and you download things so command line prompt is basically another way of installing like tech packages onto your laptop the next thing we have is text edit and text edit is really good for like actually writing code um, and you can save that in the code format that you want so you can save your file as a .py file, .php file and .css so text edit is sort of like you can use it as a coding platform um, and yeah text edit is really useful for things like that um, not sure what time machine is uh, Uniflow, something else, Unity Hub. Um, so Unity is a games platform. It's it's a games creation platform. So you use it to create game scenes and also augmented reality scenes as well. The next thing I have is Visual Studio. Uh, this isn't the right Visual Studio. I use a different Visual Studio for coding. Um, where is the original Visual Studio? It's not on here. That's odd very odd indeed the next thing i have is webex and webex i think is a more secure um, platform for um, big corporations to host meetings and interviews when i use webex um, it tends to be you use your laptop as the camera and then you have to actually physically dial in on your phone so rather than it necessarily being zoom where you can talk and see on your laptop you have to use your laptop as the video camera and then actually call in through a mobile phone to hear any audio uh, the next thing we have is whatsapp on web so anyone who messages me on whatsapp that's exactly why i can reply you really quickly because i have it on my laptop and then one to share for more is what i use to edit my videos and then zamp um, is used to host PHP files locally. I don't really like Zamp um, for hosting PHP files locally. I just think it. I don't. I don't like it. And then Zoom. But yeah. Okay, guys. So that's a brief run through of all of the apps, most of the apps that are on my laptop. If you'd like me to do more tech videos like this, then make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I'll be back with another video. Bye.